What's going on, Flickr? Just out and welcome back to another video. My name's Creek, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Armorer's Workshop mod for Minecraft version 1.7.10. Alright guys, so the Armor's Workshop mod is a mod that lets you customize and create your own armor right here in the game. You don't need any external programs or anything like that. You can build and craft your own armor right here in the game. Like this fancy dancy suit thingy that I'm wearing. That's just so cute and fantastic. But um, to get started with the mod, you're going to need uh, one block. And that block is the Armor block. And you can craft that block with... Four stone, four equipment cubes, which we'll get to in a moment, and a one diamond. And that will give you this block here, which you can pluck down anywhere, but I'd recommend giving it a lot of space above uh, the block because it creates a grid along the ground, as you can see here. And within this grid is where you're going to be building your armors and stuff. So if we go down here to the block and we right click it, over here on the left, you can see that we have all the different things that we can build. So we can build like a headpiece here, and it shows up my head, or pops my head in here, and then I can just build on top of that. Uh, if we select the uh, legs, my legs will pop up, and I can build on top of them. And if I want to do like a sword or something, my arm pops up, and I can build a sword, and an arrow even, uh, which is, oh yeah, right here is the arrow, as you can see. So on and so forth, but we're going to be rolling with the headpiece now, and um, we'll build some glasses or something. Alright, so now that we have our block down and we have our head floating in the air, we can start making some head items. So what we're going to need now is some equipment cubes. And this is a crafting recipe for them, and that will give you 16, uh, just cloth surrounding and ironing it. Um, but you also have a glowing equipment cu uh, cube, which does glow in the dark, which is nice. Uh, but we also have a transparent equipment cube, as well as a glowing transparent equipment cube. And I'm just going to take some equipment cubes real quick. So there we go, get some 64 equipment cubes. Oops, yeah, there we go. And we're just going to come up here and let's build some glasses. All right, so let's make, uh, let's make some goggles or something. And we'll just put that there, there. And we'll bring this back a little bit. That's good. And we'll bring this back a little bit there as well. So there's our glasses. And now what we're going to do is we're going to need to paint those blocks because I don't like that color. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a paintbrush, which you can craft with an equipment cube, one iron ingot, and a stick. And I'm just going to take this paintbrush and I'm going to stick it in a color mixer. Which a color mixer you can craft with lapis lazuli, cactus green, rose red, stone, and an equipment cube. And a color mixer here. Let's just throw, uh, well, actually, let's leave our paintbrush right here. And we're just going to, let's see here. Let's make our glasses green. All right. A nice bright green. So now we're just going to throw our paintbrush in here. And it has the color selected. And now we can just go on up here and color away. All right, so there are our completed green glasses, but before we move on, I do want to take a moment and kind of explain some other stuff here. So we've already went over the equipment cubes. Um, there are some other things, though, like the, uh, we'll save the equipment library for last. Um, the color mixer I've showed the crafting recipe for, um, and we'll get into that last as well. But we also have a paint roller, and this will paint blocks in a 3x3x1 three by three by area, and this is the crafting recipe for that. It's the same thing as a paintbrush. You can take it. Throw it into a color mixer, and it will get the color. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, and then we have a color picker, and this is the crafting recipe for that. But a color picker is pretty self-explanatory. You just right-click a block, and it takes that color, and then you can apply that in the color mixer to like a paintbrush and stuff. Really nice and handy. Handy dandy. Super doo-doo. Super doo-doo. It's not super doo-doo. Wrong choice of words. Um, but we also have some tools here as well. Let me just clear some inventory space and I'll get into these. So we have the burn tool, which makes a block darker. Here is the crafting recipe for that. We have the dodge tool, which makes a block lighter. Here's the crafting recipe for that. We have a color noise tool. Here's the crafting recipe for that. And the color no noise tool applies a random color noise to a block. 
And then we have the hue tool, which changes the color of a block without affecting the shading. And there's the craft recipe for this. Now, let me just take these and I'll show you guys what these do. So first up, we have the burn tool, which makes a block darker. So if we just right click, it is going to make this darker. We have the dodge tool, which will make it lighter, as you can see. Uh, we have the noise tool, which will apply a random noise uh, to the block. As you can see, it's slightly changing color. And then we have the hue tool, which will change the hue of the block without changing the shading, as you can see there. All right, now before we move on, I do want to go over in full detail the color mixer. So up here we have the hue, and this is this is all actually the top. It's pretty self-explanatory. You mess with this and you get a color. Um, and it also gives you the hex value here, which you can enter your own hex value. So if you're like messing around in paint or Photoshop or something, and you want a specific color, you can just enter in the hex value and it will select that color. Um, but we also have some presets here. And we have Minecraft presets, wool presets, and pastel presets as well. And then, of course, all you've got to do is change color, select the color, throw a paintbrush up here, and bam, you have that color. All right, moving right along, though. The next step is saving your uh, little thing that you made, our glasses. We need to save our glasses. So to do that, we're going to need an equipment skin template, which this is the crafting recipe for that. And you get eight equipment skin templates. And then with these, we're just going to actually already have some in my inventory. We're going to come over here to the armorer block and now I'll explain this interface so up here in the top left is where you're going to put your equipment skin template we're just gonna put one up there and pressing save will save whatever you have created so in this case our glasses to the template and then loading of course load something from a template onto the head um, and then right here is the item name so we're just gonna name it uh, glasses I suppose seems like a good fitting name for glasses and then the username, you can actually input a person's username and it will set that to their skin. So as you can see, the skins match. This is my head. And that is that block. And then right here, we can uncheck the grid. Grid's gone. I like the grid though. It's pretty nice. And then of course, we have the head overlay grid as well that um, we can remove too. And then clear, of course, clears everything. So what we're going to do now, we're going to click save and bam. There we go, we have our glasses, and hold shift for in, more info, and it'll actually show the ID, the total amount of cubes, glowing cubes, a whole bunch of information about the uh, item that we've created. But to apply this item, you cannot actually just drag it to your head slot. What you have to do is you have to hit P, and then we'll open up the equipment wardrobe, and you have some uh, selections that you can check or uncheck over here, like um, foot rendering, limb movement, head overlays, all that good stuff. But we're not gonna mess with that. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cat ears off and we're gonna put on our glasses and there we go. We have the glasses that we just created up there in the sky. Now obviously you can do a whole lot bigger things than just glasses. You can make entire helmets like Viking helmets, all that good stuff. But um, I'm really bad at uh, creating stuff like that. So we're gonna roll with glasses for this uh, mod spotlight. But um, moving along, there are some other things with this mod. Uh, for example, we have the equipment library. And this is the crafting recipe for that. One rule, uh, we have five stone, two books, and an equipment cube. And the equipment library, you can actually right click it and it brings up this interface. Now don't be alarmed, it's actually not that complicated. So what you can do is you can browse your computer's files and select like a custom uh, skin template so this way maybe your uh, friend has created an awesome helmet and he sends it to you and you download it and you can just go over here select it and all you have to do put in an, a, a skin template right there click ls and it will create the item so for example the mod comes with a couple of <laughs> quite a bit actually of templates here so what we're going to do we're going to make a let's see Pika hood. All right. So we have that selected. We have our skin template here. We're going to click LS and bam. There we go. We have a Pikachu hood that we can then put on our head slot. And there we go. We are wearing a Pikachu helmet. Next up though, we have the mannequin and this is the crafting recipe for that. Three wood, one equipment cube and a pumpkin. And along with the mannequin, we have the mannequin tool. 
And this is the crafting recipe for that. And I will show you what this does right now. So let's take a mannequin here. And we're just going to put a mannequin down right here. I already have some. Uh, let's put it right there. There we go. We have a mannequin. And now we can right click the mannequin. And we can change the position of his arms, his right arm, his legs, left leg, head rotation, all that good stuff. We can also reset it and get a random thing here along with the child model we can make him little tiny little tiny steve oh he's so cute and we're just gonna do random uh, let's see here that's good that looks fantastic and then over here on the left we can input custom uh, armors that we've made so for example want some glasses bam now he's got some fancy dancy glasses or alternatively if we wanted to we could remove these and put this armor on him like so where's my skirt at where'd the skirt go is it still on me? Uh. Oh, wait. That's a completely different thing. I, Sorry, derp. But uh, now, as you can see, he has all the armor that we had on. And now it's on him. And we can also do the same thing for a sword here. So I've created a sword, which I'll show you how to do. Um, but this sword right here, it's a diamond sword. But it has the skin of a lightsaber. Like, what in the world? How did it do that? So what you can do, just throw it on him. And now, he has a lightsaber, and that is awesome. But, alternatively, what you can also do with the mannequin tool, you can right-click a mannequin, or actually it's shift right-click, I believe. Uh, sneak right-click to save settings. So we're going to sneak right-click, and now it has this setting saved. So if we right-click this mannequin, it actually load his uh, stance. So as you can see, he's making the exact same stance as, uh, as this one is. Or alternatively, we can click random, we can save this stance, and bam, now they're all doing the exact same thing. Alright, so you're probably wondering how in the world I made the sword into a lightsaber. Well, uh, if you want to do it by yourself, you can uh, go over here, make a sword, save it, and then apply it in the P setting to the sword uh, little section here. Now, something to point out here, is if you have the equipment in here so say for example i put a pikachu hood on right here i can put another like say a leather helmet on so let's just see like a leather helmet here uh let's see how do i spell that uh, there we go grab a leather helmet put it on and as you can see the pikachu hood is actually over the leather helmet but it is clipping through so what you have to do uh, and this goes for the sword too is you come over here to a thing called the skinning table, and this is the crafting recipe for it. Two equipment skin templates, one equipment block, five stone, and one red wool. And what you do is you take, uh, do I actually have a, let me get a Pikachu hood real quick. Equipment library, uh, let's see, let's do a, li a halo. Let's do a halo. Put that there, bam, we have a halo, fantastic. So now we're gonna put the halo in here. We're gonna put a leather cap there, and now this leather cap is a halo so i can just equip it normally actually now and as you can see we have a halo above our head but we also have on a leather helmet and that works for diamond helmets too because i have a uh, diamond helmet right here that is a pikachu hood as you can see now one thing i do want to point out is these three sections right here if i put something in these it will override the default sword so right here i have a default sword it has no skin applied to it as you can see but if I hit P and put the lightsaber in the sword slot, all the default swords will become a lightsaber, for example. Um, but if I make a custom sword, so let's just get a diamond sword real quick. Uh, diamond sword, and let's make a, let's see here, what else can we do? Uh, let's do a dual lightsaber. Bam, there we go. So if we come over here now and apply this and this diamond sword, now, because this isn't a default diamond sword, it will have the skin that we just put on it, which is a dual lightsaber. So uh, hopefully this makes sense. So you can kind of see that uh, putting an item into here will apply it to all the default items that do not have other skins already attached to them. But um, if I have like a regular diamond sword and I attach a skin to it with the skinning table, it will override whatever's in here. Um, as you can see here, green lightsaber, red lightsaber. Now, if there's anything that I missed or uh, left out, the mod actually also comes with a guidebook, which you can craft with a book and an equipment cube. And this guidebook, it's kind of incomplete, which is why I left it for last. 
um, and I wouldn't rely on it completely because it's, it's still a work in progress, but it does have all the recipes in here and a small description of um, what each tool does, which is very nice. But that is the Armor's Workshop mod. I know there was a lot of things I covered in this video and hopefully it all made sense. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a like on your way out. It would really help me out. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as more come out. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will try to answer them to my best of my ability. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!